Greetings, chess friends. Thug Dug back for some more Blitz chess. Let's get rolling. Time to right this ship. We've had a couple difficult games. Playing against Annexed 2060. Sicilian. On variation, set up a proxy type setup on that. Okay, bishop, no, that means he too. I thought maybe he was going to play bishop to knight five. Yeah, he's got the uh, develop our pieces here. From all to logical squares, we're going to trade that. I think. Okay, takes with the, takes with the D pawn. I had this before. I don't remember. My reaction is to play F four, but. I think that's probably not right because of why, because of the four and E5. So let's castle. Plays e5, okay. Stop the queen. I'll be able to pose a bishop to c5 with bishop d3 without. Having my pawns um, doubled, I'll be able to take back the queen. Yeah. Let's do that. Take something to the queen. I feel like this is a little more of a positional way to play the position. Um, Okay, that's interesting. Huh. I didn't even really consider that move. My instinct here is to take the bishop and play e5. Okay, take the bishop, pawn takes, pawn to e5, he takes, he might take the check. E5, he doesn't take. This could be complicated. We have to sacrifice a pawn. Possibly more. Okay. So here, giving up the pawn. What are the other options? Um, well, a knight's under attack, so. Somewhere. Oh, that's the move right there. I guess he's going to take the knight. Okay. Really, no tactics I have available? Nothing I can do here? Not that. No. 
Oops. Oh, Brenton has um, put this way. So pin the knight, threaten f4. And if he castles, I've got. Um, Hmm. Okay, so I'll go here. Takes, I'll take the queen. It's got a castle, and then I'll get the, the D pawn back. Well, he can't castle because of checkmate. So, but I'm also threatening rook over. Harassing his queen. It's a very, I mean, his king is kind of exposed here. It's his answer to this. So that, I guess that does stop it. I need to go here, right? Let's get that move in. Bishop's going to go there. Get the pawn back. Then he's going to castle. Get out of trouble, which I don't want him to get out of trouble. Take advantage of. No, so I go there, the knight's hanging. I think he's probably going to castle king side. Yeah. Bring the knight back. A five here. Once again, I'm in kind of time pressure again. This has been a little bit of a um, lesson for me trying to trying to speak while I play. I mean, this is when I was doing the rapid; it was a lot easier. But now the problem with that is, can't I just go right back in? No, he doesn't have the protection for his bishop. Hmm. Guess he's got just enough time to get everything safe. Get it rook up and double, but he'll, in the meantime, he'll Escape, it looks like. Maybe not. Huh. Now, what is he doing? Isn't that just winning? I hope it's winning. <laughs> I could really use an easy game today. Um, yeah. Oh, boy. That's kind of what I needed them, to be honest. I had, I had a couple unfortunate games. Um, let's take a look at the tactics involved here. This is, um, let's go to our first real tactical position. That, what's the evaluation of this position? Good for me. So that was not necessarily a great move. So it does, I think it does like my, yeah, it, it suggests black trades and then instead and it likes that move and obviously that, and that's what I played. That's, that's what it played. Okay, now it wants to play the knight all the way back. So, okay, so I didn't, I had the right instinct, but I didn't follow it up correctly. Which is interesting. I'm not really sure why that's better. Let's see. I mean, it says that's a dubious move, but it doesn't lose much. And I understand it. So I, I think we can go with this. And then it says uh, best move is to take. Yeah, that's what we did. And then, oh, interesting. Now C. C five to give a square for the for the knight. So this is not great. 
you know, he can go there and he's, he's pretty much equalized. Um, that's bad. Huh. Well, it's not bad. Because he doesn't have to take the bishop. He can just play his knight into g4. And then I guess he gets to bring it into uh, e3. So, so that means, okay, so here, castles, knight here cuts off the protection to the knight. Takes, I'm sure queen takes, and um, yeah, I'm going to get this pawn back. I mean, it's pretty even game actually. So, okay. Um, here, let's uh, let's take a look. We'll go back to, to there. No, that was bad. You didn't play the right move. I take there. Want to trade? Okay, so okay, so that's a blunder because of that. Bishop goes. That's what I did. Castles, right? That's what I did. Okay. Well, it makes sense. So I am threatening knight to uh, f6 with a just a threatening to. Uh, force him into a discover check when he has queen actually mating him. So yeah, so he kind of had to play f5 there. And if he's got to play f5, then is my move bad? Oh, this is fine. Yeah, that's what I was anticipating. I thought he would play this rook up to protect it. He is in a big pile of trouble here. Okay, so there's a couple ways to do it. That's one. So this, I was actually thinking about maybe something like that. Is that not as good? That's not as good. So look here. Threaten, okay, so force this knight now, so that way, um, for try and force the trade now before I can have a chance to double. Oh, this is crazy though. So now I don't even know what's going on here. Oh, I see. <laughs> that is a move I would not find. I like it though. It's because if you take this, you take there, and uh, can't move the rook because of mate down in here. Wow, that's something else. And if you can't take the knight, well, this is a threat. By the pawn, just an attack. What is the move here? He defines this move. I'm um, ganging up on the pawn still, and he still can't, uh, still can't take, oh, now it says he has to take the knight. Why? Because if he goes here, then uh, it's just, it's just a brutal, uh, brutal attack, really. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, I had the right instinct. He didn't follow it up right. I didn't follow it. It got chaotic, um, but uh, ended up being an easy out for him. So happy for that. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.